Well, welcome back. We do have some scattered showers pretty much all over the south. You can see it's all along the coast. Really just spread out everywhere. Florida's got a lot of rain action going on. So really this is kind of the story for everybody. As we take a little zoom in, we did see some of these storms were some that passed by earlier today, giving us just a less, less than a tenth of an inch. And we do look like we have another system that is just kind of bypassing the north part of the cities. So we are kind of seeing these storms really popping up just in small places and maybe kind of creating some lightning and thunder. So we do want to be careful of seeing these pop up storms that are coming by as we are kind of doing our celebrating. But those high temperatures today did get up to about the 90s. Looks like we got 91 here, um, 94 in Meridian, and then 91 in Jackson. So those temperatures were staying pretty warm here in the cent central part. And we'll be seeing those kind of humidities kind of actually start to kick out. So what we're looking at is we're going to kind of move back to the seasonable. So we'll be seeing that hot air is really going to be more centralized. And then we'll see more of those storms stay along the coast. So we may be able to move out of that humid air. We'll still kind of see it lingering here for the next few days as we might be having those feel like temperatures almost about to 100. So it looks like tomorrow we will be seeing those feel likes almost up to 100 and even seeing a high of 90. And then again, we are seeing some of these pop up storms kind of popping through tomorrow. Um, more of them going to be in the evening hours and maybe even through the night. Um, but we will see some of those decrease in those feel like temperatures when those storms do kind of track through kind of pulling some of that humidity out. But again, this humidity probably will stay through the weekend, maybe seeing some more storms with these. But as we look through tomorrow, seeing again, maybe if we're going to see some of these storms is what we're going to be seeing. So this is going to be kind of overnight, really not seeing much in the morning. And then some of these storms really kind of coming up and might be seeing those pop ups. And I don't know if it's going to be over, might be under, but we'll kind of see more of these kind of track through as we move through the day. And again, it's just going to be like those pop ups that we were seeing earlier. And then looking at these next three days, so again, we are going to have those showers and that pop up thunder here and there like we're seeing this evening. Friday, we're definitely going to be able to clear up, maybe get rid of some of that humidity a little bit, but those temperatures are going to stay a little bit higher. When we do move through the weekend, we are going to see those thunderstorms actually be more severe. Here as we move into Saturday and Sunday, more long lived storms. Then maybe even seeing those bigger clouds kind of move through a more of a cloudier day. And then as we see Monday and Tuesday, more of those storms are going to kind of track out. Um, maybe seeing more of that sun kind of pop out in the morning hours. And then just those small chances of kind of storms in the evening hours. Um, variable clouds passing by and then again just those evening kind of thunderstorms is what we're going to see early into next week and maybe some cooler temperatures after these storms kind of kick out that humidity this weekend. Not so. looking like the prettiest weekend. Mm -mm, no, definitely not a weekend to go out and enjoy the weather. <laughs> that's for sure. I mean, I would stay inside, just turn on that AC and just in lay back, maybe rent a few movies. Yes. There you go. Well, there's a lot coming out this time. Or go to the movies because, you know, all of the new releases come out right about now for the big holiday. So. Did get a chance to check out Uncle Drew last weekend. What is that? That's a movie? Yes. Called Uncle Drew? Yes. Okay, I'm not familiar. Yeah, I I don't. Never heard of it, so but never heard are you either. giving it a rave review? I mean, I mean, you know, it has funny parts. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, if you're not an NBA fan or a base basketball fan, you wouldn't understand. Because a lot of the players are in the NBA, so gotcha. there you go. Well, I'm a fan, but I just I haven't heard of it. Yeah. Well, Thanks, Mark. Thanks, <laughs> Alyssa.